Connor McNasser. Mike Christensen. Ryan Miller. Dan Zertucci. Steve Lang. I think it just, yeah, it takes people a bit to... And you got to have a lot of Mike knows. Mike knows. That was a good story. I wish that was the show that... The reviewer guy saw? I would have yeah. allowed it to happen last night. I cut the show 20 minutes short last night because in my head we started man, at you're gonna, yeah, That's going to be on your, be your tombstone, man. Yeah. Wishes he didn't cut that Spillator show short. cut the show by 20 minutes. But uh, tonight... <laughs> like into 20 minutes see, tonight had a full story, you know? Tonight had a full story. It was, it a, was a, a good story. Yeah. We went out. The we, juju we, uh, thing, man. We got we got the asides in. We got we got some nice flashbacks. We went down range. I wanted to do a show about the military because... Um, I, I was in the military, I enjoyed it, and uh, I still have a strong connection to it. And I just thought it was, it, it, it was a, a slice of life, a, a, a story that needed to be told. I don't, I don't think anyone ever really gets a chance to, to take a look at that. And you see movies like Black Hawk Down uh, or, or Band of Brothers, you know, like going, oh, I kind of see. Um, but having been there, it, it, there were times when it was extremely uh, entertaining and fun to be around these guys. Are reduced to numbers in the press and stuff like that. You know, so many soldiers got injured, or so many soldiers sent to this area, or something like that. And what I enjoy about the show, because I was—I mean, I was military as well—is uh, that we're kind of humanizing them and saying, "No, they're people. They're people. They're sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that sort of thing." And that's, I think, the most fulfillment I get out of this show is that it kind of shows that, you know, it's not—we're not numbers. We're we're people. What really sort of spurred the show along for me in Seattle was uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. And I started to see a lot of parallels between the Vietnam War and, and what had happened in Iraq. And, and uh, I thought, well, now, now's the best time to do this show. And it wasn't a political statement. And uh, we had a lot of very conservative people come to see the show in Seattle. And uh, they were like, wow, thanks for not making a political statement. I didn't want to. I wanted to do what, exactly what Ryan is saying, is say, this is the soldiers. You know, This is what I was asked um, to make the show a larger scale. Uh, and I thought, that's not this show. This is a microcosm of of the war, any war, is just these, this squad, that's, the, you know, boil it down to that, that tiny little group. Yeah. way of processing this terrible thing you're going through, and, and it's a way of getting to know the people around you that, that you're putting your life in their hands, and so it's, it's, a, it's a very important process, uh, uh, but it's also a lot of fun. We do long form, short form, and full length improvised plays, so it's, uh, it's what we do. They say comedy is hard, improv uh, makes it even harder, but <laughs> for us, I mean, it's just, it's a very natural, organic, fun uh, engaging show and the audience gets to be a part of it and they get to you know they get to actually contribute a lot of times with audiences especially if they're not accustomed to improv you kind of have to reinforce the idea that we are in fact making it up as we go along and we don't have some conspiracy that we've all talked about what we're going to do backstage I, I think it's the next wave of theater which is interactive improvisational theater fully plays